Hi, I'm Niall from Gulfstream Boat Sales. This is a 2005 Doral Monticello sports cruiser powered by a Volvo Penta D4, 260 horsepower, dual prop, stern drive diesel engine. It has 466 hours on the clock and it's in fantastic condition throughout. The Doral Monticello is a very popular boat because it's just about as big a sports cruiser as you can sort of get with a single engine and that will comfortably fit on a trailer. So it's 28 foot long, it has a beam of 8 foot 6 inches, um, single engine, you can get it on a trailer, you can tow it behind most large 4x4s and uh, for that reason it is a very popular boat. It sleeps four downstairs, it has a nice spacious cabin as well and this one is in beautiful condition. The coat on the port side is in lovely shape, pinstripes are in good condition. We have the Doral stainless steel or chrome lettering. We've also got a heater outlet, there's cabin uh, diesel heating on this boat. And then you get this huge extended swim platform on this boat also, which is all laid in real teak too. Condition of the swim platform is lovely as well. So really nice condition down along the port side. There's no trailer damage on the bow of the boat. It's all in beautiful condition. And then the starboard side of the hull is every bit as good as the port side, if not better actually. So navy blue hull colour band looks the part, white gel coat looks great, it's anti-fouled in white as well, the hull bottom is all good. Um, I should point out that the trailer is included with the boat and it's been fully serviced. Fire rails on this side are all good. VHF fire rail folded down there, tank bent, Monticello badge, Doral badge, all looks nice and clean and tidy here. So taking a look below the waterline before we hop on board. This boat is powered by the most desirable engine, which is a Volvo Penta D4, 260 horsepower. And it's matched up to this dual prop stern drive, DPH, stern drive leg. This boat's fitted with a pair of G5 propellers that were brand new actually when we sold the boat in 2021. Um, there is a sea trail video on the boat back from 2021 on our website on the Doral Monticello page. So you can, you can find out why we put these props on and you can see how the boat performs with those. But, Big trim tabs on it as well, and you can see how they affect the running performance on that sea trail video also. This large swim platform makes it easy to board the boat from either the port or starboard side whenever you're tied up in the marina because it's so, like it's a huge big swim platform. It must be at least four or five foot long there. Laid in real teak, looks very smart. We've got a little uh, folding four step stainless steel boarding ladder. And then we've got a little opening gate giving you access into the cockpit one. So we've got this big U-shaped seating area at the transom. We've got a port side lounger seat and twin wide helm seat up forward. And one of the best things about the Monticello is this whole rear seat section slides aft out over the swim platform and it gives you much more floor space in here. So there we go with the seat pushed all the way back, the filler cushion in there, and this little cockpit table in as well. You can see that you have a lovely sort of lounging area at the back of the cockpit. There's a lovely area to relax in. You know, you're sitting, everybody's sitting at the one level. You get good protection from the windscreen whenever the boat's underway. Um, the, the seat backs come up to a nice height. You'll sit, you'll fit three people across the bench at the back easily. Another two people around there. So you'll easily get five adults around the table. And obviously you've got the extra seating area up there. Windscreen surround is is nice white painted aluminium in perfect condition again one of the features of a freshwater boat you don't get any of that nasty saltwater cruise and stuff you don't get any paint bubbling it's all in perfect condition then we've got the helm seat twin wide helm seat with a flip, flip up bolster and the mint has uh webasto heating on board so diesel fired air warm air heating you got a heater outlet there at the driver's feet and there's another heater outlet in there at the uh the rear uh, cockpit seat. Sitting down, you've got clear visibility through the windscreen. There's loads of room to stand at the helm as well, even with the bolster folded down. And then you can also flip the bolster up. Nice raised foot rest here. Cockpit lighting all the way around the, the cockpit looks lovely. Nice wooden rimmed stainless steel center Doral steering wheel, um, hydraulic steering, EVC control, um, trim switches, trim tab uh, gauges here, circuit breakers down here. And then, engine blower motor 
battery combined switch. We've got a remote control for our Clarion stereo Turn on the gauge. We've got our engine hours here, 465.6 of the current engine hours. Fuel gauge almost full with diesel. Um, volt meter, depth sounder, speedo, trim gauge, and everything is working. The boat has just come from service mechanic, Tony's Marine Service in Coleraine, who's looked after the boat for the last couple of years, and it's just had a full service. One other thing that he has, that the current owner has done the last year or two, was replace the chart plotter. So this is a brand new Lowrance HDS5 chart. Really nicely appointed helm station, only 465 hours on the clock. Everything in beautiful condition. This is a lovely boat to drive as well. And if you haven't already seen it, please do check out that virtual sea trial video so you can see how it performs on the way. But it's a great run boat. Really gets up on plane quickly. Runs right up, I think it was 40 miles an hour or something with those props on it. So great going boat, perfect condition. You'll notice it's category B rated, which is offshore rated for eight people plus gears. Molded in steps, three steps, and then center open a windscreen, which you can head out through to get up onto the fore deck. You'll notice that this boat has the optional fore deck sun pad cushions. All the surfaces up here are molded non skid, so you can safely walk around. This is your electric anchor windlass, 10 kilogram anchor and chain on it, and a wee safety line also. Up on the radar arch then, we have the searchlight, anchor light, little horn, and the TV antenna. Access into the cabin then is via the, the sliding door, and it slides open on the runners, running nice and freely, and then you've got three steps down in to the cabin, and it's beautifully appointed down here. We've got our galley, Nicely appointed galley on the port side. We've got a forward V-berth dinette area that converts into double bed at night time. Little TV, DVD player, uh, sound system in there, hanging locker. Beautifully appointed heads compartment as well with a uh, electric flush toilet. And then a nice aft cabin area also with another double berth in there. So the galley has a solid, so solid surface countertop a uh, little electric induction hall this microwave oven here all in perfect condition so that is getting warm there see that so that's uh working perfectly this is the heating controller here so a basto heating switch panel for all your 240 volt equipment here and your 12 volt stuff nice stainless steel sink hot and cold running water we've got a little flat screen tv dvd player the upholstery and the, the timber work and everything in here is Beautiful, the original Doral table looks the part. These are really smart nice headroom, even up forward. So you can easily fit four people around the table for a meal or something. And then at night time, this drops down. There's two filler cushions go in here. And you can also hinge up this wee section here. So it gives you more leg room then. On the starboard side then, we have um, our sound system in here. Is the original Clarion with a six disc changer. So there you go, and we also, I'm pretty sure the, the controller, the remote control to helm is working. Yeah. Let's look in the fridge that's humming away here. So fridge is all in good condition, working perfectly. Half cabin then is in behind this curtain, so you can screen it off with this curtain. You get really good headroom as you come in here, and then you got a full size double bed. Right. So you can make that whole area back there up into some lounger. That's the filler cushion for it. Filler cushions for the four cabin. So the heads compartment is nicely appointed. It's got a vacuum flush toilet, which is good. Nice little uh, wash hand basin there. Shower curtain to screen it off. If you are having a shower, that obviously that tap head lifts up and uh, you can have a shower in there. So nice compact heads compartment, shower compartment. It's perfect for, you know, a weekend, long weekend away on the water. And you've got fabulous access around this D4 260 Volvo Penta, 465 hours on it. It's in beautiful condition. Engine and lights back there. And uh, yeah, listen, it all looks really clean and tidy. As I said, there's a good service history with this and it's just been serviced as well. So it's ready to go to her new owners. So lovely engine bay in immaculate condition. The boat is being sold complete with um, all the covers so there's a tonneau cover for it which is a flat storage cover which you can use for towing it on the road or for you know storing the boat uh it also has a full set of camper canvas covers good high bimini there's stacks of headroom in here 
full enclosure so if you've got the heater going or you're using the boat in the rain or you know early spring late autumn it's a totally usable space up here in the cockpit if you're interested in the Doral Monticello and you want to find out more about it then please sign up for VIP access on our website at gulfstreamboatsales.com all you have to do is pop your name and email address into the box below this video on our site at gulfstreamboatsales.com and you can get VIP access which is completely free once you've signed up then navigate back to the Doral Monticello page and you can watch our full-length video tour where I go through the boat in as much detail as possible show you in all the storage compartments give you a really good look around the engine bay walk you through all the gear and equipment and basically try to show you the condition the boat's in demonstrate all the features and help you to figure out whether this might be the right boat for you so that's sign up for vip access at gulfstream boat sales thank you very much for taking the time to watch the video